All right. Hello, everybody. So I'm going to do a quick review of pretty much like what is an ideal cheap car to own if you're a filmmaker, photographer, but you like to somewhat ride with style. I know a lot of people would choose over like an SUV or a crossover or pretty much anything that is bigger than a coupe. But um, I stumbled upon a Toyota Celica. This is the GTS model that I've been freaking loving. And I think I just want to let everybody know like how functional it is even as a for any everyday filmmaker to not really get this uh, pretty much thrown away from just being a coupe and it's small and not having enough trunk space uh, because like myself I don't really I'm not a big fan of driving big cars I always liked smaller compact uh vehicles i think they're more fun to drive but at the same time i want to carry a bunch of a bunch of equipment uh, because i do work for media production that i need to transport equipment over to sets or productions here and there so but i do love driving you know sporty cars coupes uh cars that are not massive or tanks or boats looking. So this one is very affordable. I got it in 2018 for 3K uh, with 167K miles, 167K. Now I have uh, 178, so I put about 11K miles already. And I never did been disappointed of the trunk space or the performance whenever I load this up fully. So I'm just gonna let you guys show you basically how pretty huge the trunk is so it is pretty deep in here and so i did put like uh, some uh, basically foam to be able to like not have my uh, um, cases slide or whatever that's actually a good hack if you guys have any uh, styrofoam or anything put it on your trunk it's gonna help uh, hold the plastic cases or anything like nice in place um, Right here, I got like two Alexa Minis. Over here, I put up an easy rig. You can tip over the seats, and I'm gonna show you right here. The seats are pretty much tipped over, and that allowed me to put way more gear. So I got two 100 millimeter tripod bowls in there. Um, the easy rig, I mean, it's, it's pretty much full, and I have, put in here also uh, like C stands, uh, combo stand, you can pretty much, a three riser, you can fit it right in the middle. It will peak out a little bit, but once you get the seats down, uh, you have a pretty good amount of room for being a, a coupe and it's pretty comfortable, plenty of power. This car is nearly 200 horse power. Um, not exactly, but it's also pretty efficient. I think I pull up about like 27 miles per gallon on average. If I just stick to highway, I can push 29. Uh, again, the, this is the GTS model, so the GT might do a little bit better, but this one, because it's a slightly beefier four cylinder, it will consume a little bit. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys like, you know, how, you know, a coupe can be convenient also for like filmmakers or if you happen to be in a, in a type of work line that you need a, a ton of cargo space, but if you want a cheap, affordable coupe, I think this uh, GTS or Toyota Celica, it's pretty steel and, and it runs like a champ. I mean, it's been, um, all I did was like oil change. I did uh changed my transmission oil as well um i did how to replace the radio because it was a old school radio so i put this one in there so i can have a usb charger bluetooth radio i also usb over here because it's slightly this one is the fast usb charger versus the one that comes in the radio not so much 
uh, aux, but yeah, once you replace this radio, you pretty much all you, that's all you need. Um, there's a little storage area here. There's more space over here where I have all my info. Um, it's a pretty cool car. I mean, for a pretty cheap, reliable car, you know, if you can find a CRV or whatever they're called, uh, or any cheap US SUVs or Subarus. I know I was looking for a WRX, uh, the hatchback, and I couldn't find one. Uh, and they were also more expensive. This for 3K, I think they're all still run for about 3K. It, you need to be lucky to find like good condition because these are, especially the manual editions, people tend to like modify them and, and change a bunch of crap. Luckily, the girl who was driving this car always drove it very slow. Everything was original when I took over it and all the miles were mainly highway. So it barely had anywhere that I could find and no mechanical issues. All I do is change the oil um, I did change the intake uh, to a better one. I did change the oil catch pan to a baffle one that so that way if I do crazy turns, uh, I don't oil starve, but you don't really need all that stuff. It's a very solid car. So if like, if you're a filmmaker and, and you're looking for like a sporty cheap car, I recommend the Celica. but it is a champ. It works like a champ. And like I said, I have no issues. I love it. I love the sunroof. And other than that, it's, um, you get plenty of cargo space and you'll ride in style. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, do you drive a coupe and load up a ton of equipment? Do you prefer a SUV? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment below and I'll keep pushing uh, for more content, you know, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, I got a GoPro Hero 9 that I'm really excited about. So I'm mainly, this is like a test out to see how video blogging will be. I don't know if you can see, but I'm basically using a head strap for a chest mount. So we'll see how that works. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to share my what I drive typically on a daily, daily basis for being a filmmaker that needs a load up ton of equipment and still ride with somewhat of a style. Obviously this is not any luxury or Porsche car, uh, but if you want something that is uh, efficient, reliable, and it's actually built like a tank, it's every part is still original. Uh, so I recommend this Toyota Celica. It only had some cosmetic wear when I bought it, but other than that, internally, I had no rust or anything. And I'm always happy on how much cargo I can put in this car. So there it is. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll catch you in the next one, Felicia's. Bye.